Okay, so what you guys are going to do now is we're going to create that variable um, to add a score to this game. I'm just making some adjustments here. Okay. So what you're going to do, we're going to add a score to this game. And what you're going to do is you're going to click make a variable. So when you click on the variables, you'll see. Um, so if you're in any other toolbox, you'll see this variables toolbox. You click on variables. And I have a couple of things that I already made here, but you won't have those. So just click make a variable. And it's going to be for all sprites. Make sure you click for all sprites. And you're just going to call this score. If you use all caps, it's always going to have to be all caps. If you use all lowercase, it'll all have to be lowercase. Just remember. Oh, okay. So I just have to create a variable, make a variable, and I'm going to use lowercase because I already need one that's uppercase. Okay. So I've got something called score. And now you see if you click the little checkbox, the score appears on the screen here. So I can always have the variable in the background, um, but if I click the checkbox, it will actually appear on screen. So I'm just going to leave that. You can put it wherever you want. I'm going to put it down here because it's kind of really out of the way in that location. And what I'm going to do is when green flag clicked, I'm going to have it an example. When green flag clicked and I'm going to set the score to zero, you can put this um, set score to zero anywhere you want. Um, you can have that anywhere you want, but it's handy just to have it um, in that block where I tell it to go back to the start location. Okay, so that score is always going to be zero when I press the green flag. And then I want to think about how I want the score to change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of items that can be collected. So let's see, I'll add food items because I'm always hungry. I love tacos. So I'm going to, ooh, that taco has a magic wand. I'm going to add, let's see here. I'm going to add a cake. Wow, that cake is big. So I'm going to change the size of that cake for about 20%. Oh, that's kind of tiny. 30? Yeah, I want a bigger cake. I'm going to put that cake right here. And then I'm going to add another item to collect and it's going to be more food because I love food. Let's see, maybe I'll get a strawberry. Oh, it's a dancing strawberry, my goodness. I'm going to add a taco and that taco I'm also going to change 25% of its original size and I can put that down here. Sometimes it's fun to add things in different locations so you can get different points depending on which way you go through the maze. These I put in locations where you're only going to get, um, you're always going to get that. So maybe I'll put one more couple of items. Cheesy puffs. And we'll change that size. There. I can't really tell what those are. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to add code here on the cake. So if I want to add code that tells me how many points I get for getting the cake, let's be on the cake when we code that. So what we're going to do first is we're going to say when the green flag is clicked, I want this cake to show. So when I when eventually I'm going to have it hide, but first whenever the green flag is clicked, I want the cake to show back up. Like let's say it's my second time playing, I want it to show again. And then I'm going to say, for, I'm going to put one of those forever if touching, do sensing, touching. And then look, I can change this to player one. So forever if touching player one, then I want the variable, the score change i'm going to change the score let's see um the cake is very valuable so i'm going to make um change the variable by 10. and then after i change the point value i can hide so if you put the hide first what happens is 
the cake will hide and then you will no longer be touching the cake. So then the score will not change. So um, always put the hiding second. And then we want our event to be when green flag clicked. Okay, so we're gonna save now. We're gonna click the green flag. We're gonna go over to the cake and let's just see. I also think there should be a sound that plays on the cake. Eaten. Okay, did my score change? Oh no, it didn't because I don't have the right score. There we go. Save now. Press the green flag and then we test it out. No, so notice I'm not like coding a bunch of, I'm not coding the cake and the taco and the cheesy puffs all at one time. I'm coding one so it works perfectly. Yep, did my score changed to 10. Uh, I think maybe I'll have um, a sound play. That's kind of fun. What does birthday sound like? Oh, that's kind of a fun sound for the cake. Okay, that sounds like fun. So we can have that sound uh, play and then the cake is gonna hide after that. Um, if you don't want that to happen in that particular order, just change the order of play and hide. Okay, all right, so that works. And now what we're gonna do is we can actually duplicate this code here and drop it into the taco. So now I go to the taco. Where did it go? It should have copied, but it did not. Interesting. Should be able to. Okay, so if that didn't work, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to drag this into the backpack so I don't have to rewrite that script all the time. Not sure why it's not copying my items to my backpack. There it is. Okay, so then I can go to my taco. And then that script is in my backpack and I can just drag it back out. Okay, now I don't want, when I touch the taco, I don't want it to play sound birthday until done. Um, I am going to play a different sound. So I'm gonna throw that, keep the script, but I want a different sound. So I'm gonna to go to sounds and I'm going to look for something that's more taco appropriate. Choose a sound. I can look for an effect. I just want a nice like short. Wow, that's really obnoxious. How about this? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna choose the bonk sound. That's very interesting. And we're going to choose bonk. And we're gonna save now, and we're gonna just try out. I'm not gonna make you watch me play my game, so I'm just gonna. Okay, so here I am back by the taco, and I got my cake already, and I'm gonna get the taco and just test that code out. Okay, so that was like a really obnoxious sound. I got, oh look, I got like 30 points. And the reason for that was because I was, um, waiting until the sound was done to hide. So I was technically still touching my um, taco. So if you want to, you can actually put in um, a wait statement. Um, and you can put the score, change the score later. So we can actually change the order of this and put the change score in after the playing and then hide it because then um, it will immediately disappear and you won't get more points. But it's kind of fun to get a lot of points or something. So that's how you add um, a variable. You try it yourself with another um, item that you can collect like the cheesy poofs. I showed you how to do it with the cake. I showed you how to do it with the taco. So you're going to try that with the cheesy poofs or another object. Okay.